Hey guys, how you doing? Today is Monday, so my kids are in school. You guys, on Saturday, I discovered a new salon where I can be taking my kids to go and make their hair. Like, you won't understand the joy. <laughs> The joy that I feel that I found a salon where I can be taking my kids to make their hair. You see, the thing is this, right? I like um, hair being treated right, okay? So, I can't just carry my kids to any salon, right? But it still stresses me out making their hair, especially when I have to make their hair. Like, okay, I, I told myself that, you know what? I'll just make all their hair on the same weekend, so all the other weekends I'll be free and you know until their hair is due again. Then later on I said, okay, let me start making each person's hair each weekend. So this will be Ava's weekend, tomorrow will be Sophia's weekend, I'll be the next weekend will be Sophia's weekend, the next one will be Cora's weekend. That one did not work as well because I saw myself doing hair every weekend. I was like, no, I need my weekends. So now that I found the salon, at least I'll be there to supervise. Even though I don't think I even need to supervise because I watched them very closely when I was making the hair. By the way, the name of the, the, name of the salon is Jeggy's Bells Fro. Okay? Yeah, I'll put the name on the screen. Jeggy's Bell Fro. Yeah, so I, even though I don't need to supervise my kids, but at least I know that I'll be there with three of them. I'll probably hold Sophia to make Sophia's hair. Um, yeah, I'll be there to supervise it. So, and I love the place. I love the way they take care of, you know, kids' hair. Even Eva's hair, because I went with Eva. Eva was sleeping through as while they were making her hair. Although Eva doesn't really cry for hair, Eva doesn't really, Eva doesn't have tender scalp. But even at that, for her to be sleeping through it means that she was really comfortable. Maybe it just felt like somebody was caressing her, 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 her scalp or something, you know. So yeah, I was really impressed. I really want to go back. So, but I want to do my makeup now. I want to film a video. It's a hair video. Um, yeah, it's a hair video. Shout out to you guys who watch our hair videos because I know that sometimes it's not really your cup of tea. It might not be, especially if you're not interested in buying hair at that time, it might not be your cup of tea. But some of you still watch, some of you still support us, some of you still like and share and all of that. So, um, I really appreciate you guys. Please keep supporting us because it's not easy. It's not easy doing YouTube full time and trying to make a living out of YouTube full time. It's not easy. So, yeah, when we get sponsorships, it actually helps a lot. There's one show shade of um what they call the name lipstick that i really really need and that shade is like brown i don't have any brown lipstick like a true brown not reddish brown not burgundy no no not even burgundy what they call that color not wine red like chocolate like real chocolate okay almost like a neutral brown or oh, yeah almost like a neutral or is it a bluish brown i don't know what to call it oh yeah i need it i need it in my life so if you guys have any recommendations for products like that let me know but i need a true brown because i feel like it's a fit me if i just put all brown chocolates on my lips i feel like it's a fit me there's something i said i was going to just you guys about which is really important not even this we're going to discuss right and that's about the coming elections i know that people like me i try to shy away, well, not shy away people like me i try to avoid conversations you know concerning politics because First of all, my channel is not for that. And then second of all, I'm not um, trying to convince anybody to vote for anybody. You know, like if you don't have common sense, you deserve whoever we get. <laughs> if you open your eyes and go and vote the wrong person because of either tribal sentiments or, you know, some monetary values that you think you might gain. Even if the person does not win, the fact that you voted for that person, may that person's impact get to you. Do you get my point? Like if it's a bad person. Whatever would have come from that bad person will get to you. Anyway, I'm not saying for anybody, but you guys get what I mean. I mean, if you openly, because some people that voted for our last president, many of them, okay, our present current president, many of them voted with good intentions. It's not like they were voting because oh, I want to gain something. They just felt like he was going to come and you know change Nigeria. They believe most of the things that he said. Okay, even though that one was kind of anytime I hear, I'm like, really, really did you? Okay. So they believe most of the things that he said, so that's why they voted for him. So that one is a different case. But I'm saying, if you open your eyes, you know this person is not good for Nigeria, but because it will, it will benefit your own personal pocket, or because the person is from your village, or because you want... I don't know what the bragging right is if you vote for someone, if the president of the country is from your village. What exactly is the bragging right there? It's not you that is the president, it's not your family member that is the president, but because it's from your village, because you want, oh, Igbos to be on top, or Yorubas to be on top, or Alsace to be on top, that's why you now got open eye and vote for the wrong part person, then... Your sense is very far and there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, I'm coming out to get my sponge. Something has a smell here. Okay, is this powder? 
Why do, why, why do people feel the need to put fragrance in, in stuff? Like, I don't get it. Why are you putting fragrance in, in powder? Why do I need to be smelling? And it's fine to you. Why do I need to be smelling? Uh, I don't know. If I want perfume, I can spray perfume. I don't like it. You guys, let's try and get it right this time. People should not open eyes and be voting for for Orishi Rishi. If you not, if you're not voting, and if you're not voting because you think, oh, uh, uh, what are those those reasons for not voting? Say so a lot of people say, oh, our vote doesn't count. Our this doesn't count. Uh, okay. Even if it's not going to count, like what I keep telling myself that even if my vote will not count, I will still vote and I will still vote for the right person. I don't care if my vote doesn't count. If they want to read it, no wahala. In fact, if I'm putting the votes, mm, they carry the ballot paper or whatever and throw it away or the ballot box and throw it away. And no wahala, people should go ahead, okay? God will judge you, but let me sleep well at night knowing that I tried, okay? I tried and it didn't work. Unlike the people that will not even try at all and not be saying, you see, we said it, we said it, our votes don't count. How will your votes count when you're not voting? Like someone said, um, um, it's not in democracy. It's not ruling by majority. It's ruling. It's ruling by majority of people that came, that that, that participated. Okay, so it's not majority of what Nigeria thinks. The fact that Nigeria believes that one person should be president does not mean that that person is going to be president. Okay, whoever wins is whoever the masses that came out, the masses that you know, you know, participated, whether directly or indirectly, whether directly or indirectly, like. <laughs> <laughs> Whether directly or indirectly, you guys know what I mean. It is the percentage of people that came out that will get um, that will get who they vote for, right? So, because some people participate in in, in even uh, um, stealing ballot boxes and stuff and rigging the election, it's still human beings. It's not the politicians up there that were rigging the elections. It's still human beings like you and I that came out and were rigging the election. So, to combat all those things. They let us all come out in full force. Imagine if the whole of Nigeria comes out to vote and overwhelmingly one person gets you know more votes. Overwhelmingly. How would they rig it? How? Where don't start from? This thing is, is it my color? It is actually. It's my body color. I don't know if it's my face color. My neck color. What is it? My body. Whenever I'm doing makeup, if my body is out, in fact, it's even my body is even lighter, self. Even my neck is a bit lighter. But that's okay. So, all I'm trying to say is that can we please just do things right? Can we please try, try, and just do things right this time? Because <laughs> someone said, "Why I do that is when we become adults and Nigeria is spoiling." Nigeria has been spoiling since, so no bit to do. Yeah, Nigeria has been spoiling since. It's just that in recent times, the spoilage. <laughs> The spoilage has, you know, tripled or quadrupled. Like the the is now in geometric progression. It's no longer uh, in uh, what they call the other one, you know. So we need to act fast so that. And mind you, it's not like even even if we get the best candidate now, it's not like Nigeria will become better overnight. Though. Just no, just no this and no peace so that. When things start happening, you will not say, ah, this guy was supposed to be our savior. This guy was supposed to be our this. How come he's not, um, how come things are not, not working the way we want? How come things have not changed? No, that's not what we are. We're not, it will be delusional to think that if we get, you know, the right candidates now, if we vote him in, then Nigeria overnight will become, you know, Dubai or something. No, it's not going to work like that. But it is a series of, you know, good decisions, a series of good leaders, a series of, you know, uh, what they call it, revolutionary leaders and visionary leaders, people that have a vision for this country, a series of them is what will lead us to where we need to be, okay? So it's not, because right now, I feel like we've been having a series of unfortunate events. That's how, let me sneak it. A series of unfortunate events is what we've been having in Nigeria. So if we can just start, if we can switch it up and now start having a series of, you know, fortunate leaders and fortunate events, then we just might you know nigeria will just get better so i'm not expecting magic from from you know the um our best candidate this at this point that's peter b who is our best candidate <laughs> argue with your argue with your what i don't know whatever i want to argue with argue with at this point our best candidate is peter b that's all i that's all i have to say like if you don't like it if you don't believe that he's the best candidate uh, i'll show you how to open a channel I'll show you. I'll, I'll leave a link 
to a video that you watch. Sure, that when you open your own channel, you now go and do your own get ready, get ready with me video or vlog. Mm? When you now do it, you now tell us who you think your own best candidate is. But don't come here and tell me, no, no, no. you can disagree respectfully, but don't come and try to insult me or insult him or insult uh, um, people that vote for him or attack people that are, are talking or start attacking Igbos because that's another thing I've seen now. The new one nice to be attacking Igbos. Eh, eh, if I, I want to listen to my channel, though, like. <laughs> You're gonna get blocked and you're gonna get, get insulted first, then you're gonna get blocked and your comments will be deleted. So that cloud that you think that you're going to come and catch on my page is not gonna work. I'm just telling you in advance. Thank you. I should respect yourself. <laughs> so anyway, jokes aside or whatever, no, I'm not joking though, but I mean, you know, that talk aside. He's our best candidate as at this point, right? I mean, anybody that has more than two brain cells will understand what I'm saying. But it doesn't mean that when he enters a government now, he will now undo years of nonsense. It's not possible now. I mean, even if he's a, 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 a magic, it's not possible, right? But the good thing about someone like him is that he's going to set the ball rolling. And that's what he did in, in um, um, Anambra State, okay? Well, no, it wasn't him exactly. Um, Ingege set that ball rolling and then, you know... Peter B took over and then Anambra just improved exponentially, right? So it is to set the ball rolling, is to break that cycle of bad leadership, first of all. Let's break that cycle of bad leadership and then we'll know that, okay, we're now headed into to the right direction, okay? We're headed to the right direction. And like what Peter B said in one of his interviews, he said, if you tell somebody that you're going to acquire a bomb now, right? And they see that you're on the road to acquire a bomb, they'll be patient, even if the journey takes you know, two days safe. They'll be patient. But if you say you are going to acquire a bomb and we can see that we're on the road to, to Kaduna, everybody will be angry. Nobody will be patient. Nobody wants to be there and hear what you are saying. Nobody wants to give you that uh, benefit of doubt when we can clearly see that we're going right there in the wrong direction. You, all the things you say you are going to do, you do not do it. You are doing opposite. And you're telling me we should be we should be patient with you. What can't be patient with you? Patient with you that what happened? On top of our better right, on top of our, our livelihood, on top of our safety, security, eh? On top of our children's future, we'll be believing you when, we're, when we're, we can see that we're clearly headed in the wrong direction. You know, so that's it. That's just it about this whole thing. Like, please, let's just have sense this time. Please, please, okay? Because, to be honest, I really, even though for a long time I blame people for where we are right now, I blame people who voted for this current president for where we are right now, but sometimes I try to remind myself that a lot of those people that voted, voted with good intentions, they were not voting because, oh, they just wanted to be stupid. A lot of people believe those things that he said. A lot of people, in fact, even now, I see people saying things like, ah, Peter Bear has come now and started talking. Eh, this is, this is kind of, this is the way uh, Buhari too was talking then. No? And I'm like, eh? Is it, uh, what they call that, uh, a ninja that you people have or what? Because... No, you cannot compare <laughs> at all, at all. Like, can, don't, don't be ridiculous, okay? You cannot compare. You can't come and open your eyes and tell me that this is, these are the kind of things that, that uh, Buari was saying then. Eh? Are you a joker? We've not had any president in the past how many years? I don't even know. Since I've, since I've known myself and I've, and I've followed politics, we've not had any president or any... Um, any presidential aspirants, okay, that says the kind of things that people be says. We've not had, we've had good candidates so that did not get there. People like Moyalu, Moyalu, I'm only about girl. See what I'm, see I'm disgracing myself here. Moyalu, is that not his name? Kingsley Moyalu, Moyalu or something like that. I know we've had good candidates in the past, but for me, so far, so far, based on what they are saying, based on what sounds practical for Nigeria. I think Peter B is the best, right? So, please, let's just try. And I keep saying this, even if he doesn't win, even if Peter B doesn't win, it is a momentum. It means that, okay, let us all try. It means that, okay, we are now more aware that, oh, maybe, oh, okay, maybe we were 20 that voted the last time and Peter B did not win. In the next election, I'm sure we'll be more than 20, we'll be like 100, because most people will not be like, ah, we need to join more forces now so that we can get this guy in or get a good candidate. It doesn't even have to be him, because I don't even know whether he'll run after this again. But I'm just saying, to get a good candidate in, if you, even if he doesn't win, that's one of the good reasons why we need to all come out and vote, so that we will know our power as people, so that whenever they count the vote, though, even if it doesn't win, like I'm saying, whenever they finish counting the vote, we'll know that, okay, so 20 million people voted for uh, Peter B. Next time, let us mobilize and do more. Let's see if we'll get 50 million people or something. You guys get my point. Anyway, 
I just said I will talk about this thing, you know, because at the end of the day, even though I'm, I'm like, I, I don't like talking about politics and all of that, my family, <laughs> my family's uh, uh, future is at stake, my children's future is at stake, my own future is at stake. I want to be in this country. I'm not one of those people that want to leave. I don't, I don't want to leave if I don't have to. Hi. You guys, I'm done with my eye makeup and then the weather is changing. Filming in Portacourt is annoying. I hate filming with artificial light, especially when I'm filming like a beauty video, hair video. I hate using artificial light, but I don't have a choice. There's like, nothing I can do about it. You guys, I want to try wearing lashes. <laughs> I don't know how to wear lashes, oh. This has been a problem of mine for a while now. I don't know how to wear lashes. So, let that one be. Getting tacky. Let me put on the lights. This is just the color of my lips without any product in it. So I wish I had this kind of color, but all through. Gorgeous. Hey, 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 hey. Eyelashes, eyelashes, eyelashes. What am I supposed to do next? Hey, what am I supposed to do next? Ooh, I've forgotten. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to use tweezers and then do what next now? Hi. I don't know how to do this. But I need to learn. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. This is not even funny, sir. I beg, I beg, I beg, I make a rest. Now let me try it again. Let me just try. I don't even know if I did it the right way. I put lashes! <laughs> even my lashes look okay. <laughs> like they're facing, facing just all but. I put lashes. I can't believe this. Mm, my eyes feel one kind of. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. I have lashes on. <laughs> you can't talk to me right now, okay? You can't talk to me. Me and you are not at the same level. <laughs> you can you put your lashes? Okay, no, most. <laughs> Most people can put their lashes, but you know, I've joined the league of people that can pull lashes. All right, <laughs> funny enough, I've always known that it's because I don't try, that's why I don't get it. But with this, I just did now. And if I try more, I'm gonna get it. Oh, hmm, I can use this all over my mouth, so that my face will be too. I feel like my face looks very dark. I'll use it all over my lips. Let me see. This is my lip color because, yeah, this is a true brown. Come on, this is a true brown. This is a Zaron pencil. Why am I looking for lipstick? I'm gonna use this. I just know I'm not using lip gloss, so I'm just gonna use this and call it a day. Anyway, um, yeah, I feel so pretty. I feel so lovely. I feel so nice. Even my accent self is about to change. I don't understand why people used to change accents because you know when you look like this, you just have to you just have to have the accents that follows. Alright. Alright guys, I think that's the end. I'm about to film a hair video. Um, yeah. Um, I'm about to film a hair video. <laughs> I'm so pretty. What's going on? Like, is anything that does not fit me? Just look at these lips. Like, I have a very unique lip shape. No, it's not really very really unique, but I have a very pretty lip shape, so... I don't think there's any lipstick that I tried that cannot fit me. I don't think there's any makeup that I tried that does not fit me because I'm just so pretty like that, you know. I think I'm going to change my outfits because this makeup and this outfit is not working. I need to change my outfit and so I can film my hair video and then I'll film another video after that and then I am done for today. I'm going to pick my kids from school and I'll be done. Alright, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye!